in this video we use an unstoppable Russian juggernaut, but instead of using the normal shell, we only use high explosive. And if that wasn't fun enough, I got to witness one of the coolest moments in War Thunder history. Yes, that is two nuke planes dropping two nukes on top of the enemy. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing the Object 279, however, in a very different way. You see, this tank actually has the most powerful APHE round in the game, a 130mm that has 364mm of penetration with almost 200 grams of TNT equivalent. But since most of my viewers are complete degenerates, we're going to trade that shell out in favour of something much, much worse. This shell right here is the HE shell. Now it's not a bad HE shell by any means, it has 3.5 kilograms of TNT. It only has 37 millimeters of penetration however, and since the object 279 has been moved to 9.0, kind of works in our favour, but also against. Now why am I doing this do you ask? Well, we have a launch of a new plushie. This little guy here, the object 279. And this is no ordinary plush, he's glow in the dark. Yeah my uh, cheap webcam hates this. So yeah, this product's been live for a while now, I've just done a terrible job at promoting it because of IRL stuff getting in the way, but it's available right now, there's almost 9 days left to pick one of these up, and if you do, don't forget, head over to the Discord, you'll get a special role if you show us the coin when you ordered it in this specific channel. My favourite thing about this little guy is the Geiger counter on the back, because he's been nuked, and he's now got 3.6 rog in. Not great, not terrible. Once again, huge apologies for the lack of promotion on the plush, especially with it being so close to Christmas and only having 8 days left, but make sure if you do order one, get onto the Discord, you'll get a special role and you'll get access to the VIP lounge forever. So many of you have already ordered so many of the plushies we've already released, and for that I thank you very very much, it helps me out massively, and of course, you get a cool little toy at the end of the day. Now usually I'll save the best game to last, but I thought, I'm so excited for this double nook game that we've got to show it first. Let's get into battle and I'll show you how we got on. Right, dude, they got American Desert and it's a slight up tier of sorts. I think it's 9 3. So, Sweden scary, Italy kinda scary because the Chintoro is a little bit trolly when it comes to HE, right? I don't know, I think we're going to be fine dude, unless we just get immediately darted by a L44. That's the real worry really, isn't it? Why is, why is every match some sort of fog variant? You don't get fog in a desert dude. As far as I'm aware, it's not a thing. There's no moisture to be fog. Right, there's another one behind him, I don't know what it was. It was a missile eater of some description. Okay, we found him. I don't really like where I've got myself into, <laughs> but we're here. And I'm hearing someone sort of close to me actually. I think I can maybe flatten this building for the funny, but we'll, we'll see what happens first. Enemy got the cap. That's okay. Two very squishy things to start, so that'll do is. I hear a racket in automat. I didn't even see that guy, dude. He was there the whole time as well, I think. Oh, my teammate's engaging something here. Find the building, maybe? Oh yeah, someone away by there. Where does that lead him out to there, right? Oh no, he's... He's looking at me now. That's a Swedish Centurion or something. Judging by the machine gun. I could try side-scrape him, it was... My Mephisto is kind of thinking about it. Can I bait this guy? Because he might shoot the building thinking he can hit me. Oh, 
I don't want to get too cocky about this though. He's moved. Ah, uh, damn, I hit his roof kind of where I wanted to hit him, but it didn't do nothing. Maybe I just go for the... Oh, hey. Oh, what? That is not where I fired my shell, but the man's dead anyway. And there's another SPA. My, my HE shell went, like, away left. And still managed to kill that dude. He tried. So this strategy with the HE is definitely viable for some reason. I'm getting rt would so I don't want to be here. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, it's another anti-air. What is bro thinking, dude? Right. The the high explosive <laughs> object seven nine is just as brittle as the APAG two seven nine. Apparently, as long as people just keep feeding you kills, I, I suppose. What well, we're on six kills. What is that man doing? Oh, track them. I don't know. What are you? Should I re-peek -peek this guy or no? I don't know what it was though. He kind of like... Dipped down. I don't really see him. What on earth was that? A heliblobter. Did I track the guy in this? Oh, it is a heliblobter. He's... A teammate killed him. Whoa. Alright. I wanna find out where that guy is. Oh no no, wait, we're actually being towed by a guy. We're gonna have to get behind this rock. Where is he? Oh he's a way up there. Well, he eventually hit me. It's just my machine gun though. It's just like spam firing me with him though. Oh well, I think it's all over for us because I don't actually have a loader. Okay, we survived the HE round from this lad here. What the hell else is shooting me now? Right, we're... Okay, he's tracked me again. What is this guy? Was that HG that hit me? Is it a turn? It's a turn. But where's the big guy? You, you, I'm worried about. This is not ideal, dude. He's just gonna track me again, isn't he? Full stabilized boy. He, wait, he's not looking at me. What an actual cycle. Right, the... Where's the Goofy boy? Oh. Unlucky. Is this guy still behind me though? You know the guy I tracked ages ago? I like that we've survived two helicopter attacks. Well, thanks to teammates at least. But I think we're about to die to a U-91. Is this a murder? It's a weasel. Okay, I killed him with my last machine gun round. I don't know where you are, but you're probably scary. It's a... a Google! How many spawn points are we on? Holy moly, dude. There's not very many left, though. I don't know why they're not using the other spawn. This spawn is clearly mine now, right? Ah, uh, 262. Wait. 
What is that? Something scouted that way. I would very much like to move from here, but there is definitely some sort of enemy aircraft. It's an IKV-91-105 who should be here somewhere. There? He's moved, clearly he's moved. I'm a little commander guy who yells things is yelling that there's an enemy a thousand meters away. I'm gonna get out of here. That's not good. Okay, we, we lived again. I, I killed a T 55M. Right. This IKB one's do to come up and farm me, but he's getting the AK. So, right now we're fine. My object 279 is. I don't know, he's fighting something over here. Some auto cannon type thingy. Oh, it's a ZSU. Do I need to be worried about that? I probably do anything with overpressure, right? A Leo one just jeer out. Another Weasel. Do we have a nook? Yeah. A, a double nook, maybe. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Tell him to wait. I'm coming too. I think, uh, I don't know if he's going to wait on me. Oh, he's waiting on me. <laughs> Dude, this is so sick. We're going to fly in together, I think. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> so, careful we don't hit each other. <laughs> oh, wow. We better get here quick. <laughs> I want him to drop his first. <laughs> right. Oh, they're gonna try enough to deal with two of us. This is awesome, man. The, the double nook, dude. <laughs> wow. Bombs away, dude. I dropped mine far, so I, I definitely, definitely doesn't um, affect his. That was sick. Two nooks in one match. Holy, dude. Holy. I don't know if mine is going to go off. That was amazing, dude. <laughs> That was so cool. <laughs> Just two, two nukes in one go. Alright, did I, I fell down here, okay. Blessed are we. Two Deception Masters. By the way, I didn't pick that Deception Master thing, I just put it on there. And I can't take it off for some reason, it keeps coming back. I don't even know what, what Deception Master comes from. Okay. My man's already was on him. I love this aggressive push our team is doing. Nice. It is shit my teammate though. I 
should have just machine gunned them, I know, because I then uh, wouldn't have needed to spend a whole shell, but it was an oosh. It was important to me to send a message. Oh my god. Okay, that was awkward. Someone is there, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see him scouted, but... Oh. A Tam just killed my teammate. And I don't know where the Tam is. Oh, he was on the bloody cap, dude. <laughs> I was like, where the hell am I getting shot from? Right, we, we go again, dude. Helicopter, helicopter. Right. I can see this guy scouted on this side. Actually, I think I just saw him. Actually, physically. My teammate's just hit him, but he's not dead. Oh, it's a turn three. He's dead. The Tam also died, so I can just keep pushing up this way again. And I've got a teammate on the highway, so... I don't think there's going to be any enemies there either. Right side clear. We just keep plowing on. Just pushing this little ush about. Okay, one of them dead. Oh, it's just that Weasel. Tried to shoot him underneath that, but I put this out. Oh no, it's just a... Oh jeez. Man's uh, survived that HG. Hey, the transmission hit all. Oh, it's a WMA firing... Darts. Where is he? Well, this is awkward. I can't shoot through this anymore, so... The benefits of high explosive. Right, back the way we came. <laughs> okay, dude. I, I don't know... The, oh my god, I'm... Hitchy neck. I, uh... I think is probably the best to use. <laughs> now, that, now that I've done this. Couple times it saved us that we've been using HE, so. Oh, a plane. Swedish thingy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they're, they're near our spawn, that's why. Helicopter. Oh, I see him. Oh, there's several aircrafts. Has that guy killed himself? No, he's good. We don't have very good hiding spots here, dude. We're in a little bit of trouble. There is an anti-air over here. Oh no, that's not very good. Well, I had the right amount of bullets to murder those two guys. And there's a, a light tank in our spot also. Surely I'm scouted though. He, he killed my gunner. Just 
I just got this man's truck. A nuke. It's uh, James CZ in the. Shot kill. We're, we're not going to deliberately kill enemies right now until my man spawns his nuke. I'm actually going to push that Vik in a second though. Because the IL-28 takes ages to get here. We should survive the nuke. I'm going to have to push this Vik dude. I can hear the leopard. But I don't see him. Where is the Vika? How did you survive? You beat me on reload. I cannot see this Vika anywhere. By a guy. We're not far off a nook either, to be honest. Yeah, did he got it? <laughs> we should survive. We'll be fine. It totally didn't land on top of us or anything. Could not find that Vik, dude. Could not find that Vik. Oh, look at the buildings in the background. They normally just shatter. The like left little spiky things, look. That's sick. Two nook games in a row. Not mine though, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but still cool. Thank you guys for watching today. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out the links in the description and of course in the pinned comment below for the makeship object 279 plushie. Now a lot of you have probably noticed the lack of upload schedule and I think it's really to do with me. I think now I've been playing War Thunder for so long I've just tried to min max how I play vehicles so much that I've really just I've struggled to enjoy it. So instead of playing the vehicles to their best of ability for the next few videos I'm just going to try goofing around a little bit. I found it in competitive play in previous games like Counter Strike Go etc, Escape from Tarkov when I try too hard just don't get the enjoyment that I want out of a video game. So for the next week or so we're just going to goof around so I hope you guys will enjoy that instead. As always a huge thank you to everyone who supports me over on Discord and Patreon if you guys wouldn't mind me skipping the individual thanks for this one. I really want to focus on the makeshift thing, I don't want to make them angry, so please, if you would like to get your hands on an Object 279, head over to the website and order one from there. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching today, much love and bye bye